Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Diane Desiel and today I'm showing you one of the easiest patterns to do. It's the dolman sleeve. The dolman pattern is an easy pattern but it is a very large pattern piece so I decided to show it to you with my half scale bodice block. So the first thing you'll do is trace your back block, the basic block, on a large piece of paper. Now when your back is traced, you're going to put your front over, align at the waist and at the center. Then you could trace all around. You might want to use a different color so you know your front, which one is your front, which one is your back. Now I'm going to ask you to trace a square line from the center front or back, passing by the underarm point, so it's your bust level. Now to continue, I'm going to ask you to find the center of three points. The neck point, back and front, so you're going to find the middle. At the shoulder tip, so you're going to find the middle over here also. And at the side seam also, you find the middle. These three reference points will allow us to do the construction of the dolman, keeping the pattern balanced. Now for this dolman technique, I'm going to show you different position. First the maximum and then I'll show you the minimum angle that you could have for your dolman. And then I'll do a variation right in the middle. And to do that, you're going to start by tracing a square line from the center touching the new neck point right in the middle of both lines. Now on this top line, from the, ne the new neck point, you're going to place your shoulder length measurement. For a size 10 or medium, it's about 12 centimeters. Then from this point, you're going to place your sleeve length measurement, or you could also use your sleeve block, fold it in half, and just put it right next to your shoulder tip and get your length. While your sleeve is there, you could also trace because it will be 90 degrees. Now for this dolman that I want it to be comfortable and that you could use for woven or knit fabric, I want you to be able to sew it without any openings. So I'm going to enlarge the side seam about two centimeter and I'm going to square from the bust going down touching the new point right in the middle of both back and front. Now before to go any further, I'm going to ask you to just trace or report the waist level onto your new side seam. Now the name of the video is the dolman sleeve, but in the same time I would like to show you the difference between a dolman sleeve and a bat sleeve. The only difference is that the bat sleeve will be a straight line from the waist to the wrist while the dolman sleeve is going to be higher than the waist and it's going to hand with a curved line and that's what we're going to do today now for the style i could give you measurement again but it could be all done by highs you decide a point where your sleeve or your underarm is going to hand Today I'm going to do 8 cm below the underarm point and I'm just going to do a little mark right there. For the next step, you could just freehand trace from this underarm point curve line and then go reach the wrist point or you could start tracing a straight line from the underarm point, the new one, to the wrist and that's what I'll do today. Then the last thing will be to curve from the new underarm point that we decide until that line. Now to do the underarm seam finishing at the wrist level a little softer, I'm going to ask you to move that point in an angle a few millimeter so we could trace a 90 degree for the finishing. Then you could do a 90 degree reaching the wrist and reaching the underarm seam. As you could see now, I do have my 90 degree to sew your my underarm seam with the wrist. Now the plan is finished. It's time to trace out the pattern pieces. 
in that case I'd suggest that you keep the plan as it is and just put two layers of paper under when you retrace make sure you trace both neckline front and back and the rest of the contour will be the same for both back and front and just forget about the waist dart Now before to remove the plan from the two pattern piece, I'm going to ask you to mark some assembling notch because they're long distance to sew and we want to make sure that it's going to match at the end. So we're going to put the reference and then indicate it with the tracing wheel to have them on both pattern piece. So you could put one right at the beginning of the curve, maybe another one right in the middle and finally another one at the end of the curve. Also, I would like you to indicate the shoulder area on the top line. Now that I retrace my pattern piece, while you still have your two layers together, pin your pattern piece together, put your seam allowance all around except at the center front and back. You could put an M at the bottom, but don't make it too wide because we now have a little curve. So maybe two centimeter, 2.5 centimeter maximum. Now at the waist level, it's up to you right now. You could even make it a dress if you want very long, no problem. But this is the waist level. So right now I'm just going to put a hem of four centimeter. Now you could cut all around except for the neck area because we still have a little adjustment to do. Still before separating our piece, we're going to do all the notches. So if you did a hem, you do the notch for the hem, the three notch for the curve on the arm, the hem notch on both sides and the shoulder notch. Now we separate the piece, then you're going to Flip one of the piece and overlap the shoulder line, the seam line of the shoulder, one over the other, seam line. Now that they're overlapped properly, you should be able to see the front and the back neckline on both pieces. So you're going to decide which one will be your front pattern and which one will be your back pattern and write it down so there's no confusion. Now we could do the modification for the neckline because if you remember, I want it to be a simple top that you could that could go over your head without any opening. So I decide to enlarge at the shoulder level about three centimeter, one centimeter down at the center front and I went one centimeter down at the center back. And now I could just trace my new neckline. Now it would be important to keep a 90 degree from center back for about three centimeter and on center front just for a little while, so a few millimeter. And for sure before cutting the top, it would be also important that you check that this measurement is going over your head. If not, you could always enlarge it, but remember to do it more on the side seam than on the front or the back. Then you could put your seam allowance and cut. Now your dolman pattern is finished. Those pieces are going to be cut one time on the fold of the fabric and the grain line is as usual parallel to the center front or back. Now I told you at the beginning that I will show you the minimum and the maximum. This one is the maximum. Now to find the minimum angle for the dolman sleeve, I mean minimum to be able to raise your arm without all the garment going up. We're going to use the little reference that we find between the back and the front shoulder tip point. From that point, we're going to go up 1.5 centimeter. Then you're going to trace from the middle point at the neck, touching this point, the top of your sleeve. The rest of the recipe you'll see is going to be exactly the same. So I'm starting by placing my shoulder length on this new line. 
then I'm going to put from that point my sleeve length and trace a little bit the bottom. Here again, I could connect the wrist underarm point with the new underarm point of the bodice with my ruler. Then you're going to trace from the side seam to the underarm of the sleeve with a nice and soft curve. Then again, over here at the wrist underarm point, we could go out, but this time it's going to be smaller because the angle is closer to the 90 degree, but we could still do it and get the 90 degree. For the rest of the pattern, same thing, place your notch for assembling. Now we do have the plan for the dolman sleeve with the minimum angle. So I told you to keep the plan because you could use it many times for minimum, maximum, or any angle in between. I'm now going to show you a third one right in the middle of these two angles just to show you how easy and simple it is. To find the middle angle, I'm going to just measure from one tip to the other and find the middle. Again here I'm going to trace from my middle neck point to this mark and do the same thing, place my shoulder measurement then the sleeve length. Again, I will trace from that wrist point to the underarm point at the side seam. Then what I need to do is again, do the curve line from the side seam all the way to the underarm of the sleeve. Now you know all the mystery about the dolman sleeve, very simple, and all the measurement that I give today could change. You could enlarge more if you want on the side seam. You could keep the original or the middle point at the side seam for a fitted garment. You could also play with the width of the sleeve, but it's always done with the same technique. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you share my video. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.